everyone, welcome back to another magical video, and I say magical because I'm doing another that time I met. Before I get farther into this video, I just want to say I'm sorry that my hair is wet. So the person that I'm talking about meeting today is someone who is super nice, and you can probably just guess by the title, but Stan Yanevsky. I was saying Stan Yanevsky, but it's Stan Yanevsky, at least according to the people at Weekend of Wizardry. Anyways, I met Stan twice in 2018. The first time I met him was at WikiCon Dallas 2018. And it was the final day, I almost didn't get to meet him because my photo op time was at 10.15, I believe, in the morning on the Sunday. LeakyCon 2016 didn't really have much going on the Sunday of the event, so I was like, oh, we can just book our plane ticket for like 10.30 in the morning and just get out of there and head home. But then I was like, wait, LeakyCon Dallas is different. So we changed the plane tickets, luckily we were able to do that, and I still got to meet Stan. I was really, really tired when I met him and it was my last photo op of the weekend. But I still liked how it turned out. I was cosplaying Hermione, but I didn't have a robe on because I didn't have room in my suitcase for more than one robe and because Dallas, Texas is pretty hot in the summer. And here's my photo of Stan. So there's me and there's him. And I got a hug from him because in case you don't know, I really love hugging people. And I got a hug from every single celebrity guest that I met at LeakyCon. Some I got a hug from twice actually, but for Stan I only got one hug. This was my only time seeing Stan at LeakyCon. Also, sometimes this happens with photos. I just want to point this out. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. My face was super shiny in this photo. Sometimes the flash just makes my face shiny, even when my face is not shiny. I'm also not sure if I was using setting powder by the time I took this. I use setting powder now when I put on foundation, but I don't know if I was using it here. Anyways, enough about me. So basically, I went up there and I just took the photo and I asked for a hug and he gave me a hug and it was really short, but really nice. And I didn't get to see any of his panels at LeakyCon. At LeakyCon, I was meeting every single guest except for Team Starkid, so I was like really, really busy and stressed. I do believe I caught some of one of his panels because at LeakyCon Dallas last year, there was like the main stage room, but when the main stage room got full, they, sorry, my dog's barking. When the main stage room got full, they broadcasted the panels in the artist alley. There were like two screens set up. And I believe I caught a little bit of his panel, but it was talking about like villains in the Harry Potter series. Um, you can fight me on this, but Crumb is not a villain. Crumb is just misunderstood. And specifically in the movies, he's not a villain. It was a weird panel. I mean, Percy was there too. Percy's not a villain, to be honest. But anyways, the second time I met him was at Weekend of Wizardry in Tacoma, Washington. And that autograph I got at Weekend of Wizardry, his autograph is really, really pretty, to be honest. And it says, Shauna with love, and then he signed his name. So, yeah. And I'd already talked a little bit about this in that time I met Chris Rankin. But when I met Stan, Chris was sitting right next to Stan. And, yeah, there was a little conversation that happened between me and Chris there. It was really short. But if you want to hear about that, watch that time I met Chris Rankin. And I did get to actually see one of his panels at Weekend of Wizardry, so that was really cool. I learned a lot of new things about him that I didn't know before, and I would go extensively into everything that was said, but I sort of learned something when I went to Jason Isaac's panel, which was that he sort of didn't want us to record it because he didn't want us to repeat everything that he was saying in the panel. So now I'm just like, am I allowed to say what happened at panels? But regardless of that, Stan was really nice and funny at the panel. I sort of regret not doing the Chris Rankin and Stan duo photo at Weekend of Wizardry, but that's fine. I still have a photo of Stan and I got it signed, so that's pretty cool. Also, normally with celebrities, they have photos that you can either buy or get for free that they can sign. With Stan, he had this. It got a little crumpled. Actually, the crumple's not showing up on here. I just went and grabbed it and the photo right here is a little bit bent. But anyways... He had this little card, you open it up and it's pictures of him and Crumb and you could get this signed. And yeah, I didn't get this signed because I obviously got my photo signed, but they still asked me if I wanted one and I was like, why not? Okay, anyways, that is all for today's video. I also just wanted to point out that Stan has his own YouTube channel. I will link it down in the description below. I really recommend checking out and watching his videos because he has a lot of fun videos. I personally love his videos where he's biking on his motorcycle because something about seeing all the scenery just flying by relieves my anxiety so when i'm anxious i watch his videos i will obviously also link all of his other social media down in the description below if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to me and to stay on the channel as i already said now i guess i should go do my homework and read because yeah 
last term of high school. Let's do this. <laughs>